SmackDown Shut Your Mouth is well renowned for just how vast and detailed its season mode is. With tons of different storylines and cutscenes, players can have endless amounts of fun with this game mode. The choices that they make can really impact how their story goes as they're given an opportunity to create their own path for themselves. This series I'm going to be breaking down various different storylines that are featured in the game and for each one I cover I'm going to document everything that takes place, the different options the player can choose and what the ramifications for those choices are. We're going to be kicking things off with the first storyline in the game that's available to the player should they start as Undisputed Champion. So that means playing as Undertaker and upon starting off we're going to be featured in the main event of the first Raw of the season. As you would have seen regardless if you win or lose you're going to be met with this cutscene involving Ric Flair where he presents you as the new Undisputed Champion with the brand new design title as well. The ceremony is going to be interrupted though by none other than RVD, Rob Van Dam himself and he says that he's not going to sit back and watch the newly designed title be presented to someone else other than him. He sees it as a sign of dis disrespect but ends up presenting the title to Taker himself and then tells him he can hold on to the title while he still can as we get a really cool shot here of the two staring off to close out the segment. The next scene will play regardless if you're the undisputed champion or not. Simply if you're on the Raw roster for the first week in April in the first year of season this segment's going to go down. If you're a fan of this game you'll have definitely seen it before so I won't spend too long explaining it. But free agent Stone Cold Steve Austin is due to decide which show he'll be working for and for which GM. So either Flair for Raw or Vince for Smackdown. He appears as though he's going to sign with McMahon but then announced that it's April Fool's Day and instead gives him a stunner. He does the same to Flair before signing the Raw contract which which means he is now exclusive to that brand. Oh, and if you're actually playing as Austin, then you'll be able to choose for yourself which show you want to wrestle on. And the same scene will pretty much air, the only potential difference being you might sign for SmackDown and instead stone Ric Flair. And Vince as well. Back to Taker now, and for the second week in April, we're going to be wrestling on SmackDown. Regardless if you win or lose your match, Vince is going to come out and fresh off being stunnered and snubbed by Steve Austin. He is going to be happy and off the back of RVD's comments on the previous Raw, he's going to announce that he, as the chairman, is the only one that can decide who challenges for titles and goes about to announce the next number one contender for the undisputed title as being none other than the people's champion, The Rock. Meaning he is going to go on to face the champion Undertaker at the upcoming pay-per-view backlash. The next week on Monday Night Raw this time, Taker's going to enter the arena looking ready for action, whilst the ticked off RVD is going to cut a promo saying how he feels even more disrespected now that he isn't going to be challenging for the undisputed title. He blames the champion Taker for this rather than Vince who basically just said he's not getting the title shot because of his rant on Raw from two weeks ago, and the Undertaker's actually going to come out here. The player is going to be met with two options here. They can choose to ask RVD does he have anything to say now that they are face to face with each other. And what this is going to do is it actually is going to set up a match between RVD and Undertaker to take place later on that night. Alternatively you can tell RVD sorry about his damn look in true James Storm fashion but this will get you a punch in the mouth with a microphone for your troubles and this pretty much ends RVD's involvement in the story altogether. You won't have a match with him and instead will be put in a random triple threat go home show for Backlash now and that's going to be on Smackdown which means more Vince and he's going to tell you if you lose the undisputed title at the pay-per-view you're going to be exclusive to Smackdown and you won't have the chance to appear on both shows anymore. The Rock and Taker will be teaming up on this Smackdown show in the main event and following the match the two are going to be facing off here and the player is going to be given the option to attack the number one contender or just don't do anything so if you choose to attack him you're effectively going to cement yourself as a heel here by throwing a cheap punch kind of like the one RVD gave you on the previous show. If you choose the second option, the two are just going to stare each other down as suspense builds for the big match at the pay-per-view. I kind of prefer this option here, it just makes for a cooler look and closing visual. So we finally arrived at the Backlash pay-per-view, meaning we're coming to the conclusion of this storyline now. And we're going to be met with this cutscene here, which is going to show us that Kane is going to be the next challenger for the Undisputed title following this show since he won the number one contender match and on top of that now he's actually going to interfere in the main event here in order to try and give his fellow brother of destruction a helping hand in retaining the title so that them two can then face at judgment day and he's going to give you quite a bit of aid here so no matter what happens whether you win or lose we're going to be met with this scene in the post match in which the rock is going to put his hand out as a sign of respect to the undertaker following their grueling encounter the player can respond with three possible actions here so you can choose to throw a cheap punch potentially for the second time to the rock if you already did so on the go home show again just very healy action here 
You can actually agree to shake hands, which is my preferred option as the two show a sign of respect as the pay-per-view comes to a close. Or alternatively, you can decide to not do either and just simply walk away. JR will say this rivalry doesn't look like it's over, but we know that it definitely is. As if you retain the title, then the next challenger is going to be whoever won the number one contender match. For us, that was Kane. Whilst if you lost, the next storyline would involve an autograph and potentially a suspension match. Don't worry, I'll cover both of them storylines in separate videos in the future. But other than that, it's going to be bye for me as we roll to the credits.